Never do these things for a woman. Sounds like a straightforward command, right? But here we are, navigating the dating scene, where the line between charming and overstepping can be as thin as your patience on a bad date. It's a wild world where grand gestures might not always land you in the heartthrob category. So, if you've ever found yourself in a dating conundrum, scratching your head at why your love life resembles a comedy of errors more than a fairy tale, you're in good company. Buckle up as we dive into the nitty-gritty of dating do's and definite don'ts, ensuring your next romantic move is met with hearts and eyes, not rolled ones. Let's unravel the mystery together, shall we? 1. Don't be the sole source of her self-esteem. Jumping into a relationship shouldn't feel like you've suddenly become the sole cheerleader in the self-esteem Olympics. You're doing everything from crafting pep talks to dishing out compliments like candy on Halloween, all in the hopes of keeping your date's spirits sky high. But here's the kicker. Playing the role of a walking, talking, inspirational poster isn't exactly what you signed up for, right? It's important to be supportive, sure. But if you're the only thing standing between your date and a self-esteem nosedive, it might be time to reconsider the dynamics. Healthy relationships are more about mutual upliftment and less about being an emotional crutch. So let's aim for a vibe where both of you bring your own brand of awesome to the table, making the relationship a celebration of confidence, not a rescue mission. Trust me, it's way more rewarding to be part of a duo that rocks self-assurance from the get-go. 2. Being constantly available. In the world of dating, being Mr. Available might sound like a superhero power, but let's face it, even Superman had his fortress of solitude. There's something about playing a little hard to get that adds that spice to the dating game. Now don't get me wrong, being responsive is great, but if you're replying faster than the speed of light every single time, it might just send the wrong signal. It's like, hey, I have absolutely nothing going on besides waiting for your text. Not exactly the most attractive vibe, right? Balance is key here. Show that you're interested, but also that you've got a life full of exciting chapters, or at least a hobby or two. It makes you more intriguing and, let's be honest, a tad more mysterious. And who doesn't love a bit of mystery? So, let's dial down the 24-7 availability and keep the intrigue alive. After all, absence makes the heart grow fonder, or at least more curious. 3. Trying to fix her problems. Diving into the dating scene with a tool belt ready to fix every problem that comes your way? It's a noble effort, but let's pump the brakes on the Mr. Fix-It persona. Picture this. Every time your date shares something, you're jumping in with solutions, like a handyman ready to patch up a leaky faucet. But here's the twist. Sometimes the faucet just wants to leak a little, you know? It's not always about fixing the drip, but about listening to the sound it makes. Offering an ear instead of a toolbox can make all the difference. It's about being there, offering support, and maybe sharing a laugh over the absurdity of life's little leaks. So next time you're tempted to swoop in with a quick fix, remember that some problems just want a witness, not a plumber. It's the art of being present, not necessarily the hero. And that, my friends, can be a game changer in the world of dating. 4. Don't give wife privileges before marriage. So you're deep in the dating game and things are getting cozy. But hold up. Let's not start handing out the key to the castle just yet. There's this tricky little thing about dishing out wife privileges before you've even had the where is this going chat. It's like giving someone VIP access to the concert when they've only heard your hit single. Sure, intimacy and closeness are the dream, but pacing is everything. Think of it as a gourmet meal. You wouldn't serve the entree and dessert at the same time, right? Savor the moments, build the connection and let the courses of your relationship unfold at a natural rhythm. Rushing the process can blur the lines, turning your romantic duet into a solo act before the chorus even hits. So let's keep the privileges in check, ensuring that every step forward is a mutual dance, not a solo sprint to the finish line. 5. Giving too many gifts Navigating the dating waters with a treasure chest of gifts might seem like you're set to sail smoothly, but let's not turn this into a pirate's bounty situation. Showering someone with presents right off the bat can feel more like a bribe than a genuine gesture. It's like saying, hey, look at all this shiny stuff. Don't you like me now? But here's the thing. Real connections aren't built on a foundation of gift cards and glitter. It's the small, thoughtful moments that truly count. Like remembering their favorite coffee order or sharing a laugh over an inside joke. These are the golden nuggets that forge a genuine bond. So. 
let's put the treasure map away and focus on the real treasure, building a connection that's not measured by price tags but by the priceless moments you share. After all, the best things in life, and especially in dating, aren't things. 6. Being a Yes Man All right, let's talk about the classic dating trap of becoming Mr. Yes Man. It's like you're so eager to impress that no has vanished from your vocabulary. Suddenly you're nodding along to everything, from pineapple on pizza to skydiving on a second date, even if heights make you queasy. But here's the scoop. Agreeing to everything doesn't make you the dream date. It makes you a human echo. Real talk. It's the spice of differing opinions and healthy debates that add flavor to any budding romance. It shows you've got backbone, your own tastes, and hey, a personality that's not just a reflection of theirs. So don't shy away from sharing your true thoughts. A little disagreement can be the secret ingredient to a relationship that's not just agreeable, but genuinely engaging. Remember, it's about finding harmony, not being a one-man band playing whatever tune is requested. 7. Changing yourself completely. Ever caught yourself morphing into a human chameleon on dates, changing colors to match the scenery? It's like one day you're into indie films and artisanal coffee, and the next, you're pretending to understand the offside rule in soccer because, well, your date loves it. But here's a little truth bomb. Relationships aren't about casting yourself in a role that's not really yours. It's like wearing a costume 24-7. And let's be honest, that gets exhausting. The magic happens when you're unapologetically you, quirks and all. Because believe it or not, those quirks, they're your superpowers. Authenticity is your ticket to finding someone who's jazzed about the real deal, not just the highlight reel. So drop the act, embrace your unique brand of awesome, and watch as the world opens up to a story where you're the star, not the understudy. After all, genuine connections are made in the wings, not just center stage. 8. Excessive Flattery Rolling out compliments like you're the red carpet at a Hollywood premiere might seem like a surefire way to charm, but let's pause for a reality check. When flattery starts flying faster than confetti at a parade, it begins to lose its sparkle. Imagine telling your date they're the embodiment of sunshine mixed with a double rainbow sounds nice, but dial it back, Shakespeare. The thing about compliments is they're like seasoning. Just the right amount can perfect the dish, but too much. And you're left with a taste that's hard to swallow. Aim for genuine, heartfelt acknowledgments that show you're paying attention, not just playing the praise game. It's the difference between, wow, your passion for art is really inspiring, and you're the greatest artist since Picasso. Keep it real. Keep it sincere, and let your compliments be the cherry on top, not the whole Sunday. 9. Never let her use you as a scratching post. Have you ever felt like you've become the human equivalent of a scratching post in your dating adventures? You know, there for convenience when things get a bit prickly? It's one thing to be supportive, but it's a whole other ball game when you find yourself constantly on the receiving end of venting, frustration, or dare we say, clawing. It's like you're the emotional punching bag, dodging jabs left and right. But here's the deal. Relationships, even in the budding stages, are about mutual respect and kindness, not about being someone's outlet for every little annoyance. So if you're feeling more like a therapist than a potential partner, it might be time to reassess. You deserve a two-way street, not a one-way venting runway. Remember, it's about building each other up, not tearing down. So let's keep the claws retracted and aim for a connection that's more purr, less scratch.